And sometimes that first proposal is not necessarily what happens, but we are being very vigilant on all of those cuts. It's not a line item on the budget proposal at all to say cut funding to Meals on Wheels. We talked to some local people about how federal budget cuts might impact Lincoln. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Megan Conway. Rod has the night off. You may have heard about Meals on Wheels losing national funding. Well, we caught up with people here in the capital city to hear what they think. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Abigail Wood has more details in our top story. Abigail? Well, that's right, Megan. Tabitha and Meals on Wheels say they're worried they might lose funding. But supporters of the new budget say they're not really on the chopping block. And I put my meal in the fridge. Seven days a week, 365 days a year, Sharon Hayes gets a warm meal delivered to her door. Of course, Paul, that's quite friendly. You don't, you don't have to say too much and she's going to visit with you. She's a real sweetheart. I look forward to her every Tuesday. Meals on Wheels goes far beyond the meal. It sometimes for about, I think about 90% of the people, it makes them feel safe because they know there will be somebody to check on them. And for many of the recipients, it's the only contact with the outside world. That's why Tabitha is worried that President Trump's budget proposal might mean less money for the program. They say it could potentially cost them 22000 a month. But J.R. Bloom with the Lancaster Republicans says potentially is the operative word and cuts may not be as drastic as you think. 3% of the actual Meals on Wheels budget now, maybe that's a national figure, uh, comes from these things called community development uh, block grants, which um, is what's actually being proposed to be uh, shaved down or cut. He says these block grants are discretionary funds given to states to use as they choose and aren't necessarily guaranteed to places like Meals on Wheels. Meals on Wheels is a great program. It's fantastic. And again, it's funded mostly by private donors, which we think absolutely. Bloom says the cuts aren't targeting programs like Meals on Wheels, just ambiguous grants. Tabitha says they understand the need to tighten the belt, but they think taking money from Meals on Wheels would be costly in the long run, as emergency rooms and first responders absorb situations Tabitha can often prevent. Now, DHHS here in Nebraska says while they do fund home-delivered meal programs, no money from Nebraska's community development block grants are even going to Tabitha. They say it's early, but they are keeping an eye on the budget proposal and future cuts. Abigail Wood in our top story from the newsroom. Thank you, Abigail.